Welcome backstage to the Austin City Limits Music Festival. This is Isaac Brock of Modest Mouse. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm good. So this record, which I should point out, is called The Golden Casket. Okay. <laughs> I knew this. Well, you knew that. Okay. But, you know, the people. Um, at, in some ways, this is a hopeful record. In, right. other, in other ways, it's a paranoid record. Yeah. Is it more hopeful than paranoid or more paranoid than hopeful? I don't know. It teeters, you know? Like, I think, I think any time I catch myself being too much one or the other, I just teeter back the other direction, you know? Like, like this is, I'm, I'm being too optimistic. This is, do I believe this? And then I teeter back into hand wringing. And I'd be like, who the hell, who do you think you are? Like, what's all this worrying? Like, there's still, there's still something good going on. And it goes back and forth. So, uh, it, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a perfect swirl of both, I think, you know. I ask because I think touring right now seems to be a combination of hopeful and paranoid. Yeah. That you've got to do it very carefully, yet there is this we're back in some sense. And balancing those out and not leaning too far to either side is potentially dangerous. I mean, I've got, I've got people who... Um, professionally worry for me because I will, uh, you know, like I'll start drifting into, you know, out of uh, you know, like I'll, I'll forget that I should be worried and then, you know, someone will wisely be like uh, Isaac step away from the people for a minute and worry um, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, it's it's good, it's uh, I, I get reminded that I, you know, that I need like the the we're not completely back in action and stuff, you know? You were not a band that always worked off of a schedule that, that made a record every two years and then went on the road and whatnot. So was this pandemic and those two years that a lot of folks had a real hard time wrapping their head around, was that maybe a little easier for you in that you weren't a band that had this routine? that you've been locked into for 20 years? I mean, we, I wouldn't say we had a routine, but we stayed on the road kind of steady. You know, we'd go out, you know, like every four months or so for uh, a month and a half or something. Uh, you know, not not like clockwork. There's a real schedule. Um, the, the, the time during the pandemic actually really, really allowed us to um, reset our clock. We needed to. We were we were about to go on tour, and what we needed to be doing was making a record. Then we couldn't go out on tour. Bam, clock reset. So it was a. Uh, I, I you know I'm not trying to um, overlook the you know like the horrifying realities of the pandemic, but you know there were some pluses for me. Well, one of those pluses, I imagine, is that you got to spend time with your children. A lot more time than I was going to get to. Yeah, and um, and right there, that's a thing that the pandemic changes people or or just uh, amplifies who you already were. Fatherhood does that as well. Right. So yeah. you had both going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've really, uh, you know, uh, I've, I've gotten to hone, hone my skills as a dad or whatever you call it, because there, I don't think there's any real winning. Um, so, yeah, uh, what am I trying to say here? So, I spent plenty of time with my kids. I also quit smoking, which was great. I got, you know, I got to, I got to reset my whole freaking world. Of course, the second I got back out on tour, um, I just drifted back into smoking. But I'll stop, you know, I know how to quit now. I've never, I've never done. It. I did like seven months. Because it worked so well the first time. Well, I mean, seven months is a pretty good run for me. Um, and things like when I go home, I don't, I just don't smoke. Um, anyways, uh, I lost my train of thought like sometime before it started, um, and so now I'm rambling about smoking. We're with Isaac Brock. This backstage, the Austin City Limits Music Festival, ahead of Modest Mouse performance. These festivals. Yes. Well. Actually, what part of what you do now is still fun? Oh, I mean, that that's a night-to-night -night thing. Okay, so that's, uh, that's know, fluid. 
I think I, I, you know it's like a, let's let's uh, let's compare it to like playing sports or something. Uh, I think people who play, you know, like are, uh, in, in athletics and stuff, it's pretty fun if you're doing well. And then if you, if somehow it's just not you're just not playing well, it's not it's not fun. And so. Uh, but you it, know when you're not playing well more than an audience these days tends oh, to know, know if you're not playing well. You, maybe, maybe not? No, I mean, sometimes I can, you know, like, it, uh, yeah, I, guess, I suppose I do. And uh, whatnot. Like, I definitely um, get compliments for shows that um, I feel I should be getting refunds for. Like, ah, uh, <laughs> I missed half the verse and, you know, every other song or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, but no, uh, I, I played Stubbs last night. It was super fun and whatnot. I don't know why, but it was, you know, I, I mean, I don't know what specifically made it fun. You know, there wasn't like, um, there wasn't a trampoline or anything. It was just fun um, and things. There's, there's no real rhyme or reason as to what, what makes a day in the life of music fun or not. You know, you can't force it. I mean, like, uh, I've, I've been to, you know, big fun seeming festival it's not i'm not speaking about this one i'm just saying over the years where it's just like oh somehow this is not working right you know and things and then somewhere it's just like it's it's like a, a cobbled together crap crap fair and it's super fun you know i mean this with all respect and i feel the same way what I'm, of what i'm about to say but are we not at an age where we look around this thing and half of it doesn't make sense to us anymore and you start to think about legacy and how long you can do this for and those kind of things well here's i mean here's, maybe here's, i'm the here's, only here's, one here's, thinking that i don't know um here's a, here's something i don't like large crowds doesn't make sense but i you know like i i've i've avoided them most of my life and things that you know yeah that that's that's my take on that uh, okay you know like i look around and i kind of get it but uh, i'm not gonna go get it right. Thanks. all right thank you thank you modest mouse playing both weekends of this year's austin city limits music festival from backstage in our interview and performance cubicle we'll bring you more across the next well six days of the austin city limits music festival you got a, you got a long week ahead of you <laughs> every year cool man thank you well, enjoy yourself thank you <laughs>